Hi everybody, my name is Jaime Banda. I am the owner of Banda's Palette. I do custom woodwork. I work out of my shop and I'm actually going to show a quick snapshot of my shop. I have my uh, paint booth right over here, my miter station. So um, right over here I have, um, this is my finishing area to where, you know, it's also my lumber storage. So all this stuff here has to be out here this week. Um, so I do uh, mass production type work, so it's not just like one piece every like three months. It's like one piece, uh, multiple pieces per day that have to be painted, sanded, you name it, um, packed out, you know. And so it's it's every day that I'm doing uh, work. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video because I, I have, uh, you know, when I first was getting started in, in uh, woodwork, one of my main things was trying to be on a budget, so I hope that this video helps you out to uh, save money, also, and, and also the main thing is be safe. Um, I recommend always wearing safety glasses. You'll always see me wearing them if I'm cutting, sanding, anything, painting. Uh, these are anti-fog glasses, and the brand on these, these are cost-effective. These are Uvex. I buy those by like the case of 10, uh, so I can save on shipping. But um, I uh, use a respirator as well. I, anytime I'm cutting, painting, sanding, anything that is that, that can damage my respiratory system, I always have a respirator. Respirators I use are, uh, and I've tried tons of respirators. These are the most effective and also um, the best that I've ever used up to this point. These are 3M and it's called the Quick Latch. So for example, I'm gonna show you, uh, let's say for example you have, your, your, you have the respirator on um, and then somebody wants to talk to you. So let's say it's on. If somebody wants to talk to you, you just unlatch this front part and it'll go right down. So I hope I'm getting a good shot. And then if you're ready to go back to business, you just uh, snap it shut and you're ready to go. So I don't know if you've ever been working, ever worked with the respirator, but if somebody's trying to talk to you, you have to undo the neck and then you put it back and you adjust. This one is super quick. Um, the pink ones I use, uh, these filters are the particulate filters, so I use this when I'm sanding or um, cutting wood. And then the um, organic ones I use when I'm painting, lacquers, any type of chemical, because it has two, two layers of protection. It has the pre-filter and then it has the organic filter in there, like the carbon filter or whatever. I'm not a scientist, but I know that those are freaking awesome. It keeps my, uh, my respiratory clean. I wanted to show my dust collection system because that's the main thing when I was first starting out is I would use a uh, tiny little shop back which I still use that for my sander but um, uh, I want to show how I'm able to connect my dust collection to my main, my big main machines. My main machines being my table saw, my drum sander, my planer which is down there. I won't show in this video how I connect that and then my um, my uh, miter saw. So I won't show that either. Those are, you, you can see tons of videos on those but the things that I use that, that are to help you uh, to be uh, cost effective are number one your hose and then also all your connections and then your um, collection uh, your uh, dust cyclone system so the way it works is this is my suction machine and most people you could stop right there you could just get a hose and you can collect and it'll go inside this bag right here and then it has a filter right above here which eventually I'll get a better filter not a big deal because I clean that thing out every like week but um so the way that this works is this big hose right here is my suction hose. So the machine is, is getting the suction and everything that uh, doesn't go into this bin right here goes down through and it goes into that bag. So mainly all of my dust particles and all that, the, the small ones go into that and the big chunks go into the, the uh, my cyclone drum separator here. The way I have this set up, I bought these um, from Rockler, these are 90s, and it's an actual kit, you get both of those, and it comes with these little stickers that it shows you where the holes go, and all I did is I used a jigsaw, and I, I drilled a, a hole first, and then I used a jigsaw to cut the hole, and then it has two parts, so it has this part that screws on, and then the uh, bottom part right there that uh, has the thread, so you just screw it on, and basically you make like a cyclone, uh, once, it, once it's suction, it makes a cyclone so all the heavy stuff goes in there and then all the light stuff goes inside of here but the the main things i want to save you money on are the hoses i use 
uh, drain hose, and I buy these in the plumbing department. Like for example, this long, huge one, it's a 25 foot flex drain hose, and I think it was like $10. Uh, if you've even seen the price of dust collection hoses, it is ridiculous. Uh, I've used these for a couple years. Uh, I, have, I haven't, like I said, I, I, I do multiple things per day uh, items that I'm cutting sanding whatever and I have never had an issue with static or of any sort The neat thing about my system too is I don't have it fixed because if I ever need to work on uh, On a car I can move every single thing over over there in that side of the garage So I still have this lane right here to be able to work on a car uh, so everything is mobile and the, re the way that I make everything mobile is I have casters on everything all my all my big machines have wheels and if they don't have wheels like for example this drum this guy he can just slide and if I need to disconnect him which I'm about to show shortly or, or like right now how, how I do that I um, I buy these from the plumbing department and this one's a plumb quick and then here's a the number just pause the video if you need to and I have this permanently fixed right here so I have it it comes with these these little clamps already so I permanently or I, I permanently uh, tighten this to where this is fixed and then I friction fit to where I can move this and you just push it back in and it works so that's how I connect that and then how I connect my uh, table saw once I move it over I have the same type of rubber piece on my hose here I'm sorry if the camera angle is bad. I'm trying to move around and video at the same time. So the same thing, I have it fixed on that. And then I just take this piece and then pop it right in there. And once the dust collection's on, it's it's ready to roll. So then that's my dust collection uh, for the table saw. And then when I go to collect, uh, connect to, the, um, to my drum sander, this is a Grizzly, by the way. It's an 11 inch or 12 inch. Shit, I don't know. You can look it up, it's pretty awesome. But, um, some same thing, just friction fit it on there. Once I turn it on, it's ready to go. Eventually I'm gonna get a, a hood, that's a four inch hood that I'll put on there. But for now, this works. This actually goes from, let me put this back here. Goes from a four inch to a two inch hole, which is awesome. So that's the way I connect my, uh, and you could do the smaller ones, which I have a video about this too, where how I connected my uh, one and a half inch uh, vacuum hose to really anything to where my, to my dust deputy over here. But I um, wanted to show, I put this uh, four inch hood on my six inch Delta jointer today. And I'm gonna show you how I put these little pieces on here so the hose can be easily connected. So, this side is going to be fixed it'll be it won't be able to move but this side right here i'll just do the friction fit as well like how i have all my other machines so i'm going to have i'm going to tighten this up just be careful don't over tighten it is plastic so you don't want to break that plastic and i'm pulling on this pretty hard so it's it's on there and then this one right here i'm just gonna tighten it up slowly and then I'll test it to see. I use the same size as drain hose whenever I buy that. So this is, see it's a little bit too loose. So you want to tighten it up just a moment, or just a little bit. And then we're going to test it out again. And that's perfect. See I have to push it in there. So that means that it won't move. But once I'm done, I can just shimmy it off and it's off. Um, this hose also, it uh, bunches up. So you can, you can put it back super, super light. I think this one's a 10 foot hose on this side. So once I'm done, this little thing will bunch up all the way to where it'll, it'll cinch up, I think to about two feet. So it's out of the way, but whenever I need it to, for like a floor sweep, so you can kind of hear it, it's, it'll come out and it'll, it goes even further than that. It'll actually like touch the floor and kind of snake out here. So I use that as a floor sweep as well. But if I need to move anything, I just disconnect and then move it over. Um, so I showed you how to connect to your table saw. Um, I didn't mention the price on this. This is right here. These things are like six, uh, 686. I think about the last time about these, uh, at Home Depot in the plumbing department. And then, uh, these are about the same price. Um, these I think were like four dollars. It goes from one and a half to two inches also in the plumbing department. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I'm gonna make more videos and hopefully 
you know, just helping save money like that 25 foot hose. I mean, if you were to buy 25 foot dust collection hose, I mean, it's like, it's crazy. Like, it's another, it's another, it's, it's more expensive than the damn collector once you get to the, all the fittings and everything. So, you know, I'm hopefully it'll help you out. So I hope you have an awesome one.